Hello everyone, welcome back to another class brought to you by Verbling.com. Verbling.com is where you can connect and practice your English 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Jeff Watson. I am originally from Vancouver, Canada, but I am talking to you from the country in South America, the South American country, Chile. And to those students who were in my last class, uh, I'm sorry, there was a power outage here, so I missed the last 15 minutes of that class. But the electricity is working again, the power is back on, and so this hour we are going to be uh, developing our English with, by reading an article. And the idea discussed in the article is, is it possible to be overweight or fat or heavy? and to be fit, to have a good level of health. And the other idea is, does being overweight, does being heavy or fat, but this word, I don't recommend that you use the word fat in English. It's very, uh, it's a very direct and harsh and hurtful word, so be careful with using fat. It's better to say overweight or heavy. And so the point is, is being overweight bad for your health? Okay, so what I would like to do is to switch to the screen share and just if I could ask everyone to please keep their microphones muted. If you could please turn off your microphones so that our classroom is quiet. Great, so uh, I would like to uh, open up the screen share because I have some questions. They are, I think, uh, simple questions. And so uh, what I'd like to do is to uh, say hello to Abdallah. How are you? How are you, Mr. Jay? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Welcome back. It's nice to see you again. Yes, uh, could too. could you please read the questions for us? Yes. Uh, is being overweight a serious problem in your country? Mm -hmm. mm, actually, uh, for uh, women than uh, than men. Okay. So higher rates of. Uh, being overweight for women. Okay, please uh, continue. Uh, yes. Uh, what do you think is the main problem with obesity? Um, and then you have three options. Uh, people can answer the question directly if they want, but I have three uh, options. Could you read those, please, Abdullah? Is a question, oh, is it uh, that lack of activity and exercise is the main problem uh, eating too many calories is the main cause of being overweight something else okay um, so I please think, uh, share your ideas the lack of uh, activity and uh, exercise okay and so how do you keep yourself in shape how do you keep your level of fitness? Um, me, I uh, seen uh, uh, like uh, like uh, slim, <coughs> but uh, according to my uh, height, I I uh, my weight is uh, is ideal okay. in uh, the optimum uh, range. Okay, so good. I, uh, <laughs> yeah. 
All right, well done. And we're, we're going to talk about measuring your body mass index. Uh, yeah, great. And so I'd like to say hello to Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello. Welcome. Uh, please introduce yourself and share your ideas about the questions that I have on the screen. Yes. Uh, uh, my opinion, uh, uh, the main problem uh, is the, the lack of uh, activity and uh, exercise. Uh, uh, and also because, uh, uh, for example, in my country, Italy, we eat a lot. And okay. uh, uh, it's dangerous for uh, for health, and mm -hmm. uh, it uh, causes uh, many problems. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Now, are people still eating the Mediterranean diet? With yes, uh, yeah. So lots of tomatoes, lots of olive oil. Yes, a lot of olive oils. And and a little bit of fish or meat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now I've heard that that diet is very healthy. Uh, do you understand, Alex? Uh, no, the last question. No. Yeah. The uh, it was a statement. I have heard that the traditional Mediterranean diet is very good for you. It is yes. very healthy. Uh, yes, it's a uh, healthy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, great. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to move on to Aliban. Are, are you there? Yes, I am. Hello. Welcome. Please introduce yourself and what, what are your ideas uh, about this issue? Uh, so, hello to everybody here. I'm Aliban from Algeria. About the overweight, it's a, it's a, a huge problem especially with women and uh, to avoid this uh, problem is uh, to practice sports and to pay attention to uh, the food that uh, women or men eat mm -hmm. to and avoid now, yeah is it is it simply the problem of eating too many calories or is it the type of food that people eat what, what's type, your opinion my opinion is uh, the type of food that people eat is not healthy uh, they uh, eat uh, uh, food with uh, extra f uh, extra fats, mm -hmm. and they okay. uh, do, and when they eat, they uh, they do not uh, uh, and they eat all the time. Uh, okay. The the rule says uh, that uh, when uh, when when you shall eat is when you feel ha when you feel hungry. Yeah, when when you are hungry, you shall eat. Yeah. Only when you are hungry. Yes. To to be hungry. To That's be healthier. All right. <coughs> yeah, great. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Arturo, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? <laughs> Welcome. I'm fine. Thank you. Thank please you. Please introduce yourself and share your ideas, please. Thank you. Well, I am from Mexico. My name is Arturo. And with regard to the topic, I think the main problem with obesity, am I pronouncing that word right? Obesity. Obesity. Okay, oh, thank you. Obesity. The main problem with obesity is, is I think, healthy-wise, definitely, because you're more prone to illnesses. There are exceptions, though. There are overweight mm -hmm. people who never get sick. And also, I think metabolism plays an important part on this oh. issue. For instance, I could eat large quantities of food, and, of food, and yet I'm going to be slim, for instance. And finally, lack of exercise has something to do with it as well. Absolutely, absolutely because, uh, for example, I spend most of my day at work, and I don't get much time to do exercise. It's not an excuse, though. But right, definitely okay. the lack of exercise plays an important part on it. Okay, no, great. And uh, I hope that people have had the chance to download the document that I uploaded to the verbling.com website. It's uh, attached to this class, and uh, I always forget <laughs> the number. It's 
file GW36. Uh, no, uh, no, I'm sorry. I don't remember the uh, the number. <laughs> Just let me take a quick look here. Uh, yeah, no, it's file yes, GW35. 35. 35. Okay. So great. Thank you for your uh, uh, for your ideas, Arturo. And uh, ja Jakub, are you there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Welcome. Hello. Hello. <coughs> yeah, my name is Jakub from Egypt. Uh, in fact, uh, I uh, I take a course for, for uh, called the fundamental of uh, human nut nutrition. Nutrition. If you, yeah. Uh, and I learned that uh, we we must uh, analyze our food for uh, carbohydrate and uh, fats. Carbohydrates. And they, yeah, and fats. Mm -hmm. And take the the uh, the fit range of uh, of uh, carbohydrate and and fats uh, that uh, the body needed. Yes. Great. And don't uh, sleep alone. Uh, that the reason can be fit uh, to the whole okay. one. <laughs> yeah. To All right. Okay. So to eat what your body needs. Excellent. Great. Yeah. 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 All right. And Javier. Hello. Welcome. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> cool. Introdu introduce yourself and share your ideas about this issue. Well, I'm Javier. I'm from Spain, uh, from Seville. And about this theme, I think that um, on the one hand, the the problem is that people uh, eat a lot, of, a lot uh, nowadays, mm -hmm. and. Um, not very healthy food, and on the other side, that um, uh, I think that life uh, uh, don't uh, it's not easy that uh, you make exercise uh, when you are working, for example, and yeah. right. So uh, and and it's very typical to say uh, to to exercise. You need to mm -hmm. exercise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right, great, excellent. I, I think those are that's you know it, it seems like common sense, but why is being overweight such a huge problem, right? Mm. And and great. Uh, and Furkan, welcome. Thank you. Uh, I think there's not just one main problem because both uh, lack of activity and eating too many calories affects us uh, so much, uh, especially. In New transportation uh, solutions for us <coughs> makes us mm -hmm. more lazy than the uh, <laughs> few years ago. Yeah. So we, we are, are we are lazier. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We are driving cars instead of walking, staying at homes uh, instead of going going out to eat something. So right. everything is easier, but it makes us <laughs> fat. Yeah. So the easy. Uh, lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. All right. Excellent. No, thank you. And uh, then I'm going to go to. Sorry, uh, Maria. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Please introduce yourself and share your ideas about the topic. Okay. Thank you. Uh, well, I'm from Spain, living in Barcelona, and uh, I think. Um, all people know uh, about uh, how to eat uh, healthy, but uh, people are uh, lazy, and uh, we like uh, uh, commo no, commodities. Not uh, I don't well, know how modern to say. modern conveniences. <laughs> conveniences, and yeah. uh, well, we know all the theories, but uh, we don't uh, practice them. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And, and and so, uh, but it, so, what do you think? Do you think this situation's going to get worse, or do you see young people doing something positive? Uh, well, young people nowadays uh, <clears throat> don't do exercise a lot because right. uh, 
the way uh, we are living nowadays uh, is changing. We have spent uh, a lot of hours uh, sitting to, in front of the computer, um, so I don't think uh, they are going to to have a better. Um, I don't know how to say that. Uh, yeah, uh, live, a better uh, health. A better, or, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yes because uh, they spend a lot of hours inside a um, home yes s and yeah. okay. eating t eating t um, uh, no good uh, food uh, crisps chips or whatever you say that snacks <laughs> yeah. and that chips. is not healthy yeah. right good no excellent okay <laughs> i uh, unfortunately i agree with your with your opinion and uh, then we have alberto hello alberto uh, please turn on your uh, microphone. Hello. Yes, we can hear Hi. you. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Please introduce Hi. yourself uh, to the group and what's your opinion? Hi, I'm Alberto. I'm from Italy. Uh, uh, my opinion is about uh, uh, temptation. The food <laughs> okay. is a temptation. Uh, so it, the problem is how much to how much you eat and uh, how much you spend with uh, activity uh, okay. in Italy. So we have something like an obsession for food. So we have uh, a lot of starters. We have main dish. We have second main dish. We have right. Uh, mm -hmm. a, it's something like in the culture. Well, uh, yeah, absolutely. But uh, has that been shown to be unhealthy? Uh, I, I sort of thought that um, traditional you were talking before European about, uh, diet, Mediterranean yeah, the, yeah. Uh, diet. Yeah. I think this is not no more Italian. It's not more uh, Mediterranean diet, but it's it's more uh, about uh, uh, to be rich or or not because we eat oh, a lot okay. of uh, meat and it's it's no more. Uh, Mediterranean diet. It's right. It's it's no longer. It's, it's uh, too fat are, and yeah. it's not not enough uh, vegetables. No more. No, and other healthy foods. Right. Healthy. Okay. Great. I put the word uh, appetizers. Starters is fine, but I personally mm -hmm. use appetizers and uh, a seven course meal or, or <laughs> seven course meals. I, I've, seven yeah. or more. Yeah. Right. Or more. Right. No, I've uh, some people I know have been invited to a, a traditional Italian wedding with like yes, <laughs> twelve courses, right? So, yeah, but that's wonderful though. That's amazing, uh, and so uh, great. So what I would like to do uh, is to uh, get the other document working. So hello and thank you so much for your ideas. Everyone is expressing their ideas so well. <laughs> Move to the to the top here, and then uh, and just if everybody could please keep their uh, microphones muted. And it's really great if students use headphones or earphones uh, for the class, so that we don't have an echo in the background. So uh, Abdallah, could you please uh, read the text for us? Now I'm just going to yes, get that on the screen now. Uh, Do you see it, Abdallah? Yes, fat, uh, fat or both. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, do you see it on the on the screen? No, I. Uh, on the on Google the... screen. Okay, the no. the title. What's wrong with? Oh yeah. With calling uh, okay. obesity. Yes, yes. What's wrong with uh, calling obesity uh, a medical problem? Okay. This was written in January. So we have uh, a picture of some American football players. <laughs> so that they, they are probably a, a combination of being overweight but fit. And we have a woman running on the beach. Now she mm -hmm. looks somewhat, she looks a little heavy. She looks a little overweight. But yeah. if she's running on the beach, uh, and uh, I, I forget who said it, I'm sorry, uh, but someone mentioned uh, meta being metabolically fit. 
and and so it seems like she is uh, is that. And yeah. so great. Uh, so uh, go ahead, Abdullah. Yes, uh, fat uh, fat or both. Uh, Americans have gotten heavier since. Uh, uh, 1980, uh, this we know, and most doctors uh, would say that uh, the extra weight has made us more uh, prone to heart disease, diabetes, uh, arthritis, hypertension, and even cancer. It's uh, become a source of major national anxiety. It's uh, predicted that every state in the nation will have an obesity rate greater than 44% by 2030 and will be sicker for, for it. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the vocabulary here. So it's just a fact. We know that Americans or Americans know that they have gotten heavier since 1988. Okay. And so, and then they're saying that most doctors would say that the extra weight has made us more prone to these other diseases or health conditions. To be prone is to be susceptible, uh, more uh, perhaps vulnerable, or it's more probable that you will develop some of these uh, problems. And I just wanted to help with the pronunciation of diabetes. 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 Okay. And people in North America are very anxious about their weight. They're worried about it a lot. And it's predicted that the uh, situation of people being overweight uh, is going to get worse. And that it's going to be really in every state in the country. All right. So uh, now I would like to go on to uh, Alberto. Uh, this this next uh, piece of text. Uh, sorry, just let me. Yes, could you please uh, read that first sentence for us? Okay. Uh, but not everyone is convinced uh, obesity in America warrants so much gloom and doom. Okay. We use that term gloom and doom. Uh, and doom and gloom, I think, the opposite as well. And it's just uh, being so concerned and worried. Doom and gloom means a very negative uh, uh, prediction about the future. All right, so here's someone who feels that being overweight is not such a big problem. Uh, please, go ahead. Take Abigail uh, Segu. I I don't know how to pronounce her name, sorry. <laughs> An associate professor of sociology at the University of California, Los Angeles, at, and the author of a new book called What's Wrong with Fat? Uh, she argues we've gone too far in uh, equating obesity with disease. People think that being obese means that being sick and there are are some health risks, uh, but risk is not the same thing as illness. Okay. So good saves. Okay. Uh, you know, maybe it's Sagai. Anyway. Sagai. Yeah. Now, uh, so the her concept then, uh, could you paraphrase what she says? What's the information? What's What's her opinion? Mine? Uh, no, her opinion that she has written in this paragraph. What does she want to say? She wants... Yeah, good, please, go ahead. She wants to say that uh, 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 obesity is not necessarily to be a disease. It's as right. a fact that we have uh, to be uh, uh, habited with. Yeah, okay, so she's saying that obesity is not immediately a disease. Okay. It's what, collateral. What uh, it's collateral effect. Uh, it has a collateral effect. Coll uh, yeah. Yeah. 
uh, like a, a secondary effect. Ah, okay. Yes. That it that it is a secondary effect. Could it, be. it doesn't really cause the illness, but it's a symptom. Could be. It problem. could be also. Yeah. It okay. could be right. not every every time, but it could be. Okay. Now and, and just remember, uh, I'm trying to do my best to be an English teacher, so uh, I I love all of the students' opinions, and and so please. Uh, help me express your ideas, uh, and and so and then she's saying that we've gone too far. Uh, you know, where we've talked too much about being overweight as being sick, too much. Mm -hmm. All right, so great, thank you. And I'm going to go to Alex, but I I think we have someone else. So. Hi. <laughs> yes. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Please, this is not please. Alex. Uh, okay. Alice's so. girlfriend. <laughs> All right. So, could you please read this next paragraph for us? Okay. There's a controversial view, given how many other researchers would argue the link between obesity and declining health is pretty clear. But she's skeptical about the strength of the data provide, pro proving causality, which, with the exception of type two. Diabetes, which she concedes is tied to excess weight. Okay, and and now please, could you what what is she saying in this paragraph? What is what is the woman saying in this paragraph? It's pretty clear. <clears throat> Just a moment, please. And, yeah, and 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 student, other participants can help. And I'm I'm not going to help. Un until it's necessary. <laughs> so, okay, anyone sure. else? Uh, yes, uh, Abdallah. No, Sorry, I'm just going to mute your microphone. Yeah. But, yeah, Abdallah. He has not actual reason or uh, directed <laughs> the reason to cause uh, decrease in uh, in in BOT. Uh, okay. So I'm, I'm sorry, Abdallah. Could you please repeat that phrase? Yeah. Uh, that's a controversial uh, view, so it's it means uh, not all obesity will uh, decline health is uh, decline uh, her beauty. Oh, oh, okay, so right, her opinion is controversial. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and someone else, an idea, and Alex, you can go again if you want. Um. Yes. Yes. No, I'm not so sure. Well, okay, that's all right. Who else can help? And just if everyone can please keep their microphones muted, uh, unless you would like to uh, share something. Well, I think the paragraph yes. means that sometimes there is a coincidence between getting sick and blaming due to obesity. Right. And um, seems not okay. every illness is related to obesity. Right, good. And and now uh, sorry, Alex. Yes. Could, uh, unless it's your turn to speak, please could you keep your microphone muted? Okay. Thank thank you. No, and and Arturo, thank you. And what does she specifically say at the end of the paragraph? Ar Arturo uh, maybe she meant that type 2 diabetes is related to overweight, but specifically that illness because yeah. other illnesses are not necessarily related to overweight. All right, great. So she is not convinced by the data, by the studies, that obesity is a direct cause of uh, people's health problems. But she does, uh, she does say though that she agrees that type two diabetes is connected to being overweight. All right, so awesome, great, and I'm going to go to uh, Aliban. Are are you ready? Aliban, are you there? For me. Yes. Hello. Hello. Please, please go ahead. Could you read this uh, paragraph for us? Uh, the, the, uh, the text is not clear enough for me. 
Okay, now, do you see it now? Now, do you have the... Have you downloaded the document? One, one of uh, her circumstances is the most blunt to do with which doctors assess uh, health and weight. Body mass index, which doctors say is uh, unhealthy when it hits 30 or higher. It's a very... Uh, Arbitrary, arbitrary uh, thresh, uh, threshold, uh, threshold. There are plenty of people which uh, BMI well over 30 who who are perfectly uh, healthy, uh, healthy. She says, and plenty of people are normal weight with uh, metabolic issues. Okay, thank you so much. All right, and then so what is she? Uh, what is is her opinion here? And, and again, I'm, I'm an English teacher who believes in a communication method of teaching. And so what I'm hoping is uh, working together as a team, all of you can read this article and understand the ideas, clearly understand the ideas. And so what is she saying here? Mm -hmm. Maybe I think it says yeah. why the mass index is a good tool for... Uh, uh, detecting the uh, obesity, but there are many examples that uh, disprove this uh, argument is wrong. Like, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry, she, she does not agree that just simply measuring someone's body mass index tells you that they are healthy or unhealthy, right? And uh, what was the example? What are the two examples that she says? that she mentions, Furkan? Uh, mm, there are people who exceed the limits of uh, what, body mass index who are perfectly healthy and there are many people who looks normal for the body mass index are having metabolic issues. Yeah, and, and so health problems, uh, fitness problems, yeah, great, excellent. Uh, yeah, okay, and so uh, I uh, you know, love it when students use their own words to, to express the ideas. Uh, Arturo, are you ready? Yes, I am. Thank you. Great. Let's move on to the next paragraph here. Uh, go okay. ahead, please. Okay. She says that as bigger bodies have become framed as a medical problem, those bodies are increasingly seen as bad. We are living in a society in which it is, too, it is so deeply ingrained that it is bad, immoral to be fat, Fat people are widely seen as lazy, selfish, and consuming too much resources. Well, okay. I think mm -hmm. uh, about this paragraph, I think TV and society are to blame for that perception. Mm -hmm. And I think that overweight people can be heavy because for many reasons, such as inheritance, metabolism, and not particularly because they are, less, they are lazy or nothing of the sort. Right. Okay. Great. And so, um, excellent. Let's let's uh, move on because you said that perfectly. And uh, Claudia, hello, welcome. Claudia, are, hi. Yes. hi. Yes, now I'm here. Sorry, <laughs> it's the first time for me. No, great. Please uh, quickly introduce yourself. Uh, I'm from Italy, and I study English since maybe I was a child, but I never uh, learned it uh, in a proper way and nothing else. Uh, okay, great. So please join our discussion. Could you please yes. read the paragraph? Yes, she says that uh, as a bigger but uh, is that one? No, sorry, this takes a toll, she argues. Do you see it? Mm, no. Uh, now there, there are two screens, so uh, you need to click, perhaps you need to click on the other screen. Uh, one of the students, Abdallah, uh, Abdallah, can you hear me? Uh, would, oh, it, yeah. would it be possible for you to turn off your, your screen share, please? Okay. Yeah, thank you. And Claudia, do you see it? This takes I'm a poll. Still... Oh, I'm sorry, it's, no, you, you, I can't see You need to click it. on the small image at the bottom of the screen. Um, I'm sorry, wanna... go on, go on oh, okay. with other, and no, thank, then thank I... Ha Hakopo, hello. Hello. 
Welcome. Please introduce yourself quickly. Um, my name is. No, uh, you need to turn on your microphone, Hakobo, uh, or uh, Hakobo. Yes. Uh, are, 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 are you there? Please go ahead. We can hear you. Okay. I, my name is uh, Jacopo. I. I'm from uh, Italy, from uh, Rome. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Great. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, and so could you read this paragraph for us? Do you see it on the screen? This takes a toll. Okay, okay. This, this takes a toll. She argues in the form of social problems like bullying, weight, discrimination and eating disorders. And doctors can make the problem worse by touring their offices. Yeah, into, into what she says in uh, is a hostile environment. Obese women say you says are less Do you, do you see it? Less likely? Uh, less likely to get pap smears and those have higher rates of <laughs> cervical cancer. Okay, great. Uh, I'm just going to help you with some of the pronunciation. So, and thus, yeah. and uh, argues, 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 and the problem of bullying. 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 Okay. Bullying. All right. And okay. so what what is she saying here? So what? what what is her idea here? And hmm? Yeah. Now s some other uh, participant can help out. Can I Can I ask something? Yes, yeah. What is takes a toll? Uh takes a toll. So that means to have a negative impact. It takes its toll. Mm -hmm. It does damage. And I'm, I'm trying to get my screen share working, but uh, sorry. So the, the ideas there? Anyone? Just a, a quick comment. Yes? I think that uh, overweight uh, children could be bullied by other children. Right. Absolutely. So overweight children are being bullied by other children, all right? And I'm, I'm trying to get my screen share working here. I'm going to see if I can get this going again. Uh, okay, so I'm going to see if I can move down. Uh, she And so she specifically mentions as well that if when an overweight person, on, sorry, oh, uh, when when an overweight person goes to see a doctor, uh, it's a very negative experience, and so they are less likely to get tests done uh, to prevent cancer, for for example, or to detect cancer, and and so these these are major problems. Okay, so uh, what I'd like to do is to go to uh, Jacob. Are you there? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, great. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Excellent. Let's let's move the document down for you. Go ahead, please. Um, instead, Segai would like to see obesity framed as another form of human diversity, beautiful and healthy. And if she had a way, we'd do away with the word obesity entirely, trading it for fatness. Okay, entirely. Just the pronunciation. All right. Entirely. entirely. Okay, and so just a normal part of uh, the, um, sorry, the diversity 
of people. Okay, great. Yeah, and okay. Thorkat, I'm going to, going to move on. Okay. This next piece here. Go ahead, Thorkat. The problem with assuming that the obesity epidemic has been overblown is that plenty of people are not even aware that their weight puts them at risk for disease, which means they are at even greater risks. Okay. And now, so now we've changed, and this article is going to start focusing on the uh, sort of, I guess, the more common belief that being overweight does put people's health at risk. Okay, and so uh, I'm going to go to Maria. Maria, could you read this first part of the paragraph, please? Yes. Uh, which part, please? Some observers. Do you see uh, it? Yes. No. No, no. <laughs> I can't see and it. Now, no? yes. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Wow. Let me. I will check my. A moment, please. Oh, okay. So, some observers. Yes, but it is. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're, we're having some problems. Abdullah, do you see the, uh, the next paragraph? No, I, I have it. it. Oh, okay. Uh, Sorry. I have it. Go, go, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, Maria. Okay. No, no sorry. It's, oh, okay. it's changing on all the... <laughs> all right, now we have... It's possible to download the document. Um, I have the document oh, in my computer, oh. but it, ah. when I want to roll, now I have it. Okay. Some observers, like Daniel uh, Callahan, a uh, uh, bio, bio no, espera. Bioethicist? Bioethicist, who specializes in health policy, as the Hastings uh, Center argues, uh, argues that uh, we need to apply more social pressure, not less, to help people lose weight. Please continue. Ah, oh, sorry. People who are unaware they are overweight need to use an old phrase, a shock of recognition. Callahan wrote in a recent Hastings report, let, only let, a certain... Let's stop there. Sorry. Thank okay. you so much. And uh, Miriam, are you there? Miriam? Hello? Uh, you need to turn on your microphone. You need to click on the Google Hangout screen. You may need to click on the computer screen to look for the icon. And so I'm, I'm going to move on to Abdallah. Could you please uh, read the next uh, part? Just let me oh, yeah. bring this down here. Or oh, only a certain level of public. Yes, only uh, only a certain level of public uh, social pressure is likely to awaken them uh, to the reality of uh, their condition. Okay, and if you could continue, please. Oh yes, they have been loaded to. Uh, Obli obliviousness, obliviousness. <laughs> obliviousness about their problem because they look no different from many others around them. Okay, great. So to put these two ideas, this is a different person. Uh, Callahan is his name. And he is saying that now people need to be aware that uh, being overweight has a negative effect on your health. He talks about the fact that we do need a certain level of public social pressure because they want people to be shocked by the recognition that they do have a serious health problem if they are overweight. They need to be aware of it. All right, great. And so, uh, uh, I'm sorry, Alberto, could you read this for us, please? Okay. Uh, 
for policy makers like a New York City Major uh, Michael Bloomberg also support uh, not giving people publicity to eat less with things like bans or supersized sodas. There are other signs that fitness and uh, Hello. ideal body shape may uh, not Hello. true. Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Miriam, is that you? I'm here. Ah, okay, good. We'll we'll come I'll come back to you in one minute. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, please. Go uh, ahead, please, Alberto. Uh, one sign in the, is a decline in dieting. A recent survey of uh, 3,800 adults found that about uh, uh, Twenty-three percent of women reported the being of a, on a diet in 2012. Twenty. That's uh, sorry. Uh, 2012. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sorry. That's fine. That's a significant drop from the 35 uh, percent who said that were dieting back in uh, 1992. Okay, so let's stop there and let's just take a look uh, at. Are there some people that have some uh, some ideas, some personal reactions to these two sides, these two opinions? We have the uh, the woman who is saying that we have gone too far by calling being overweight an illness, and another person, a man, saying that being overweight is a problem. So, who who has a uh, a personal reaction? Just one or two sentences. Some of the information from the article. And this is this is where I need participation <laughs> from the students <laughs> desperately. I'm I'm here to help you. Like saying what they said, or yes, sure. Well, just please go ahead with with a comment, Furkan. <laughs> I think second solution is better because obesity is a problem. It's obvious, and we have to stop them. And maybe social pressure would be a good way to stop this problem because when uh, you are under a social pressure or under a pressure, you try to survive this disease. Uh, okay, great. So excellent. That's exactly what I was looking for. So you agree more with the second person, the yes. man. Okay. Someone else? This is your chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fat. Yes, but, Alberto. Uh, okay. I'm not fat, but if TV tells to me that I'm fat, I believe it. Okay. All right. So then uh, you think that maybe there's too much social pressure and that people are made to feel horrible if they are overweight. It could be. It could yeah, be. The, the power of the media. I don't think it's. I don't think it's too much because if you are fat, it's really, it's it's something true. Oh, but, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Great. And another but, idea by a participant. Well, I would. Yes. I would like to say something. Please um, go ahead. Uh, it is uh, a problem for health. But uh, I think nowadays it is a problem for other companies because, for example, if uh, you are fat and you want to travel and uh, you want to travel by plane, uh, many companies um, ask you to pay an extra seat. Right, okay. So, you, yes, you have a double problem. Right. Uh, no, and, you and wait and uh, you pocket. Yeah, right. It's costing you money, right? And I think that some people refer to that as weight discrimination. So yeah. you are treated differently. You are a customer, but you are treated differently because of your size. Okay, Thank great you. point. And so great. Uh, uh, what I'd like to do is 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 to move on. So uh, Aliban, uh, are you ready to do some reading? Yes. Okay. Good. Could you please, uh, no, sorry, we talked about the fact that fewer people are dieting. Uh, please, could you read this? Of course. 
And a recent study also found that a little extra body weight may be associated with living longer. Uh, Sugi uploads those findings and cuts them, reminder of a so-called obesity paradox that suggests some people who are overweight may be healthier in the long run. In the long run. Okay, good. And so could you please explain what, what uh, the information in this paragraph is? Yes, please uh, go ahead. Is, yeah. uh, it is uh, to... Uh, uh, this uh, this article shows how uh, how to face uh, the obesity by um, by uh, gave suggestions to people who are uh, overweight and how uh, to uh, to be aware with uh, their current uh, condition as an obese and to uh, react with it. Okay. Now, thank you so much. But I, I'm not sure that that's the, the correct uh, information. But thank you so much. Uh, is there someone else who has a, a different understanding of the information in this paragraph? I think uh, yes? uh, okay. the paragraph um, says something about uh, we need uh, fat and uh, it is good uh, okay. for uh, our health to have some fat in our uh, body. Okay. Or, so. or yes, and now uh, I think that that's uh, a good interpretation. So they're just saying that a little, a little extra body weight may be associated with living longer. Hmm, so, I think I will yeah. live longer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good. Excellent. <laughs> All right. And so, and they're saying that people who are overweight, now, obviously, there, there must be a certain level. Uh, maybe it's possible that people who are overweight may be healthier in the long run, in, in the long term. Okay? All right. And there's a bit of a paradox, which s in the study that says that people who are overweight um, are actually uh, healthier which is strange okay and obviously the uh, the woman uh, Sagai she uh, agrees with these with this study okay and so now thank you to all of you we've got some time left so let's keep going because I've got some more ideas here what I wanted was to ask and who's next <laughs> I know this is very difficult but uh, Arturo, oh, you're you're going to do a great job on this. Could you please read this in these instructions for determining your uh, body mass index? Sure. Okay. Uh, instructions number one: find your weight in kilograms. Call this number W. Number two: find your height in meters uh, M and square it to find. Uh, how do you say yeah, that particular good. bit? M meters squared. Okay, meters squared. Okay. And finally, number three, now divide W by meters squared. That's it. In metric units, BMI equals to W slash meters squared. Good. And what I would say is W, which I guess is weight, divided by, divided by height, in meters squared. All okay. right. Thank so you. I, I, yeah, and just to that's that's the information on calculating your body mass index. All right. Now I'm going to go back. Uh, yes, Miriam, are you there? I'm here. Hi, Miriam. Could you please I, introduce yourself? I don't understand you. Yeah. Uh, please. Uh, what is? Uh, where? Where do you live? I live in Turkey. Turkey, Istanbul. Uh, okay. Good. And, oh, let me see. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, can, can you read the paragraph that's on the screen? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Please. I will help you. Uh, for example, if a man or woman hikes uh, 75 weeks, uh, 75 kilogram, and is one... Uh, six five. One point six five meters tall. Then his or her BMI is 
75 uh, one pound Sorry, 70 let's, let's skip that okay, uh, please continue with um, uh, I'm sorry could you read this number uh, I'm sorry I, I just need yeah this number here please do you see the number in yellow uh, 7 to 27 pound C <laughs> yeah. I'm very excited. No, no, that's great. Thank you. I'm sorry, this is not the best uh, reading for you. Could you, uh, her, his or her BMI is, go ahead, please. Uh, 27.6. 27.6. Good. And please continue. According to... According to a BMI charts, anybody mass index between 25 and 2013 is overweight. Okay, so great. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. So this, I'm talking. This, no, no, that's fine. Thank you. Uh, this this uh, this um, person is overweight then. All right, and so what I would like is, and now could you please mute your microphone, Miriam? Me too. Do you understand? To mute Mama. or silence your microphone? Uh. Yeah, like that. Uh, thank you. All right, and uh, now, Abdallah, could you read this next part for us, please? Or no, I'm sorry. No, no, wait. Uh, um, I've, I've gone out of uh, order here. Uh, ja... Jasek, are you there? Okay, we, we don't hear from you, Jasek. And uh, I'm, what I'm going to do, sorry, I'm going to skip the new people. Furkan, could you read this uh, section for us? Okay. For to help you interpret your BMI results, use this guide. Below 16.5, cool, severely underweight, 16.5 to 18.4, Underweight, 18.5 to 24.9, healthy, 25 to 30, or weight, 30.1 to 40, obese. And then we have uh, this one. Above 40, morbidly obese. Okay. And so uh, that, that means uh, that it is, has a very, very negative effect on your health. All right. So... Uh, thank you so much <laughs> for all of your work in reading and understanding the document. We have two opinions saying that being overweight is not necessarily so bad for your health. And we have the uh, standard original opinion that yes, being overweight is a serious problem. All right. And so uh, what I'd like to do is just to get a final comment from people. And maybe I'll ask you, uh, what do you think, if, if someone is overweight, what should they do to improve their health? So maybe give an overweight person some health advice. Uh, Abdallah? Yes. Yeah. Uh... I think uh, social and uh, also psychological uh, aids uh, will help uh, him or her to, to to accept the idea and try to lose uh, her or the, him uh, or his weight. So okay. uh, eat a balanced uh, diet and uh, no, but that was a great point. Everyday. Sorry, I, uh, thank you so much. To, so to get some help, some social help, yeah, to get yes. some advice. Great. Ali Ban, uh, a, a comment from you? What would be your advice? My advice is to subject to a diet, practice and sport, and even, even uh, only, uh, only if uh, when you feel uh, hungry. Okay, good. All right. And what, what uh, you said Brussels, uh, I'm sorry, did you mention a food? A type of food? Aliban, are you there? Yes, I'm here. 
did you mention a type of food? Uh, vegetables. Ah, okay. Vegetables. Lots of vegetables. Great. Arturo? Well, I think doing exercise or eating well is good for everyone, healthy-wise, emotional-wise. So it doesn't matter if you're slim or overweight. I would advise to do exercise and to eat well to everyone. Excellent. Great. So don't look at your weight. Just start living a healthy lifestyle. Furkan, a, a comment from you, please. Actually, I'm not a professional dentist, so I have no advice for them. Oh, but please, uh, uh, you know, give some kind of comment. Uh, do, you, do you think that they should try to do something about it? Of course, <laughs> but oh, I don't okay. know what they should do. All right. Okay, great. And uh, so maybe your advice would be go talk to a professional. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, Maria, a, f a comment, please? Yes. Um, first of all, I, w uh, I would ask uh, that person to... Do you want to lose some weight? And uh, if the person say yes, uh, well, uh, try to change your lifestyle because if is if you don't change your lifestyle, uh, maybe you are not uh, lose any weight. Okay, good. I agree, and and you said that very well. So excellent. And Miriam, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Do Do you have a, a final comment? that you would like to make? Mm. Okay. Uh, well, well I, earlier I asked you please introduce yourself. So where, where do you live? Where do you live? I live in Istanbul. Okay. And what do you do? What is your job? I am an accountant. Okay. And do you work uh, for a company? Company? Yes. Do you work for a company or do you have your own private business? Mm. Okay. <laughs> no, <that's, laughs> sorry. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for your <laughs> participation. <laughs> Thank you. And and just to say hello to uh, Neji. Hello. Uh, I I'm sorry. I'm going to end the class now. So thank you to everyone, and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Great work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you. <laughs> see, see you next time. See you. See you. <laughs>